migrating away from Nigeria, you know. Skilled workers migrating away from Nigeria, so everybody don't jack back finish. Okay. Now, wow. Especially the IT guys, the banks are really complaining that shortage of staff is really affecting their efficiency when it comes to uh, IT related troubles in the bank. Work done close for today. I'm done for the day. Prematurely done for the day. This is just 3:17 uh, p.m. Not even up to evening yet. This afternoon, and uh, I can't work. I have to go home and relax because there is no point being on the street when you can't get requests. So I just saw this uh, update on the InDriver app. That's the rate InDriver is temporarily unavailable due to maintenance work. So I can't walk on the app. And this is the reason why you need multiple apps or at least two apps because you never know which one will just disappoint you. So it's good to have your two, at least have two favorite apps that you that you work with. Two favorite apps that you work with. So that when one is misbehaving for one reason or the other, you have another one to fall back to. And let's hope that this thing is resolved before tomorrow morning. Because for now, this is only in driver I have access to driving. Well, tomorrow morning, I'm thinking of driving to the Green Hub, which is Uber's office, to make a complaint. Because lately, I've been very comfortable driving with the in driver app. So I've just you know, neglected the Uber app. But I think I need to go to their office to make a complaint. My inspection is still valid. My Uber inspection is still valid, so I don't know why I can't drive with the app. It's still valid. It's supposed to expire in November. Because I did the inspection last year in November, I think end in November. So I don't know why they just took me off, took my car off the platform. So I have to go to the office. When I get home today, I'll book appointment early morning. I may go if this in driver's team is behaving. But if InDriver opens tomorrow morning, then I'll just continue my work with the InDriver. If not, I have to go to Uber office to make a complaint. Like, why can't I drive with my car when my inspection is not due? Because they're asking me to upload inspection report, and I have a valid inspection report. So today I had plans to walk into the evening, maybe latest by 7, 8, I'll be done for the day and try to get home latest by 9 or maximum 10 p.m. I'm home. But now I'm going home by this time, so what am I going to do now? I don't have control over this one. Let me go home. Tomorrow's another day. Not this point. Now I'm on, I'm on Todd Mainland Bridge. This uh, downtime, when it comes to IT, you know, like network related stuff, it's really affecting almost every industry. Even the banks. Lately, the banks have been experiencing shortage of uh, software engineers. You know, and this is a very big ripple effect of the current, you know, immigration. People like migrating away from Nigeria, you know. Skilled workers migrating away from Nigeria, so everybody don't jack back finish. Okay. Now, wow. Especially the IT guys, the banks are really complaining that shortage of staff is really affecting their efficiency when it comes to uh, IT related troubles in the bank. I just hope this problem is resolved before tomorrow morning because time is going. And today, now I just spent over 10,000 naira to fix my AC. And that's something about these cars. The car was chilling, the AC was chilling yesterday, cooling perfectly. This afternoon, now, even this morning, it was chilling. I drove all the way from uh, my, my first trip this morning was to somewhere around Ogba in Ikeja. Then, my second trip was to the island, and it was chilling. The person in my car even slept off. On getting to the island, I picked a trip going to. Lucky Phase 2 from VI. Then I started noticing that the AC was not wasn't efficient. It wasn't chilling the way it was chilling early morning. That was when I just, you know, I troubleshooted, I opened the bonnet, I saw that the compressor was speaking, you know, and I had to drive to the workshop when they changed the dryer button. <laughs> I'm not talking about cars with that. It can just go bad or go bad on you at any time, at any given time. 
without any warning sometimes. You know, so I was hoping, I was really hoping that today I can you know make back that money. You know, but now, <laughs> but tomorrow is another day, like I said earlier. So no, no need to panic, no need to, to feel bitter or cry over something that is not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, that don't tell me I go find work. They say by driving, no go pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on a very long trip. 